Chapter 4 Enter Wonderland Alice was met with the greenest grass and the bluest skies that she could imagine instantly. White, fluffy clouds dotted the baby blue sky, as if the sky was a face and the clouds its freckles. Alice looked around to the plants which surrounded her, row upon row of beautiful flowers and whimsical trees covered every inch of ground to the left and right of her. In front of Alice lay a neatly constructed hedge maze, and beyond that, stood a magnificent castle with hearts constructed into the building's towers. A fairly large marble heart was positioned in the center of the castle, and in the center also sat a large red stained glass window. It had a design that Alice could just barely make out from where she stood. It looked to be a girl with flowing golden blonde hair sitting on a heart-shaped throne with a beautiful crown adorning her head. Alice stared at the beautiful castle and imagined just who could own such a marvelous place. At the same time, she wondered what it must be like being a royal. And finally, she envisioned herself upon the heart-shaped throne. And then suddenly, as if reading her thoughts, the Hatter placed his hand upon Alice's shoulder and spoke. It is yours, my dear. All of it? Asked Alice, hesitantly. <laughs> Why, Why, yes, my dear. After all, you are the Queen of Wonderland. Come along, your majesty. Your kingdom awaits you, said the Hatter, while flashing another grin and bowing at the waist. Alice smiled back at him before following the Hatter through the maze of bushes. Hatter, what is through here? And why is it a maze? Can't I just walk up to the castle? Well, dear, you see... We thought it best to construct the maze as to block out entry to the castle, except to those who are allowed entry. Mm, you see, while a land of wonderment, Wonderland is a land of dreams, which means that nightmares are also roaming deeper into the depths of this place. We built the maze so that anything wishing to ruin our pristine land would not be able to enter the castle. If you look closely, there are four other entry points to the maze, each one guarded day and night. These entry points lead to the other four areas of Wonderland. The gate we just passed through is the fifth entry point, and is only accessible by secret password. To each other area, its residents do their business, and are not permitted to enter the royal palace. You see, they are undesirable, shall we say. They would just get in the way of our plans. Therefore, they must be kept outside of the castle. Plans? What plans? Asked Alice. Why, our plans for you, of course. You're going to love it, Alice, I promise. How do you get through the maze, then? Alice said. Simple, Alice. You just imagine it. Whatever do you mean? Close your eyes and imagine that the bushes are revealing a path straight to the castle. And it will happen. Trust me. It's true. 
Alice closed her eyes and envisioned the maze walls lifting above her to reveal a path, and when she opened her eyes, it had indeed done just that. But how? questioned the small girl. Her silly-hatted, long-limbed friend then laid his hand upon the girl's shoulder once more. How? Well, it's very simple, Alice, he began, offering the child a warm smile. You see, Alice, whatever you can imagine, here, it becomes reality. After all, it is your kingdom, said the Hatter with a smirk that was a mix between delight and deviance. But Alice did not notice, as she was too enthralled in the beautiful sights that lay before her young eyes. Miles of rose-covered hedge walls stretched in front of her, all shifting as the two walked, allowing them to pass straight through them. After five minutes of walking, the pair had reached the end. Oh, boy, that was an awfully long walk, said Alice as she looked back behind her, to try and estimate the length of their walk. But just as she did, she saw that the hedges had once again shifted. Soon the maze was just that, a maze once more. Alice had remembered what the Hatter had said to her, and immediately shut her eyes and imagined as hard as she could for the hedge walls to once again open up to her. However, when she opened her eyes this time, she saw only a mountain of green, almost as if the wall had now grown taller. No, no, of course it didn't grow, but then did she shrink? Did she grow? Many questions now swam through Alice's head, each one only serving as a transition into another series of questions. Perhaps sensing the girl's slight doubt, the Hatter quickly turned the girl's attention toward the exceptional palace that stood just behind her. This, he said, gesturing to the gargantuan castle of marble and colored glass, is your kingdom, Alice. All for me questioned Alice, eyes suddenly filling with childish wonder and curiosity once again. The Hatter smirked, triumphantly, knowingly, because he knew that he once again had the small girl's undivided attention, just as he planned. <laughs>